The funny thing about IV adrenaline is that people tend to think that its pharmacokinetics is fairly complex, whilst actually it's very simple. All you need to remember is that adrenaline binds to alpha and beta receptors. That's it. Now, beta-1 receptors are found primarily in the heart. When adrenaline binds to these receptors, it increases not only the heart rate, also known as the chronotropic effect, but also the force of each contraction, also known as the inotropic effect. This is the heart without ino and chronotropic effect. Slow pumping, low blood pressure. And now after adrenaline, after inotropic and chronotropic effect. How cool is that? But that's not all. Improving the heart function wouldn't be enough in cardiac arrest, which is why adrenaline also binds to alpha-1 receptors located on the smooth muscles of blood vessels. When adrenaline binds to these receptors, it causes the blood vessels to constrict, increasing the blood pressure. It's similar to what happens with the garden hose if you will squeeze it. Look, uh, if the diameter stays big, the, the pressure is not great, but if I will squeeze it, look how much further water goes. So again, before adrenaline, post adrenaline. The last aspect of adrenaline pharmacokinetics is quite often overlooked and its action on beta-2 receptors in lungs. When adrenaline binds to these receptors, it initiates a cascade that leads to the relaxation of airway smooth muscles, opening the airway and improving the airflow. My name is Alex Hepner and this was Group Call. Sir, stay calm.